Hello, this is David from Universal Promote, and today we'll go over your website with you. So once you click the agent website in your dashboard, you'll come up and see this interface. Here on the left are all the different things you can do with your website. And up here is your nav, where you can navigate through all your different pages. So to start, I'm just going to go through how you can edit your website easily. Here you can see UP Primary City. This is simply just the city that we have in our records. Same with your name and state. If you'd like to change any of this text, you can simply just go in, click here, and then delete as you please. With this button, here are the many options for this button. You could trash it if you'd like, um, change the link, add the settings, or the colors, right? So here, if you want to edit the link, you have internal and external links. Internal goes to a page in your site. External is something that goes off your site. So if you have a personal lead capture on one of your brokerage sites, you could link it here. Um, we suggest always opening it in a new tab. Therefore, your website stays up in a prospect's browser. To change colors, you can go to Edit Style and then colors. Background color and you can choose whatever color you'd like. If you like you can also put a hex code in to specify any of your personal brand colors. The same kind of way to, it works to change the background picture of your website. So you go to these block settings, change the block background, and then you could click X or change the color. And change it to whatever photo you like. This opacity is how dark or how bright you want your picture to be. So 70 is usually a rule of thumb for us and that's what we keep it at. But you can change it to however you like. As we scroll down you can see a call to action to your home evaluation page which is a landing page that is embedded into your site. Here you'll see all your latest listings so whenever you create a video in the dashboard, we will automatically create one of these single property sites for you that has the video attached. This load more button just brings up more of those videos. And as we scroll down, we just see more branding information. Read more will take you to the contact page. And this is all just your regular information, your city, your state. Contact you today at this phone number. And this is a clickable phone number. If they're on their mobile device, it will immediately call them. And down here, you'll see we have a mortgage calculator for you and your Facebook live feed. In order to actually see this live, we will need to do, go into the preview mode, which I will show you in a second. And here's the footer with more contact inf information for them to give you, and then different links to your Facebook and other contact information down here. Okay, so if you want to see how all of this looks, if you make a change, just go to preview. And as it loads your site, you will see your website in action. So here is a chatbot that we have for Peter Johnson. And see how it's Beverly Hills. All that information is populated from our records, from your file on our records. And here is the social media feed. Great. So if we go back to <coughs> edit other pages, you'd have to click Home Evaluation, where you can see your Home Evaluation page. And the same routine works as the Home page, where if you want to change any of this text, you just simply click Edit edit and change to your likings and if you want to see it live you could do preview and if you ever make a mistake you're more than welcome to click this little undo button and it'll take all those mistakes off great so just to go over all these other pages the about page is simply your bio and your headshot and then contact information to let they know to let you know to let the prospects know who you are and how they can do business with you. 
properties. There's another page where it shows your location and all the properties that you have, including with your social feed and your mortgage calculator. And this is also where we can put your IDX if you supply it to us. The blog. This is where you can input your own blog posts, articles. Um, we have a call to action to your home evaluation page. And then your social feed. Just in case if you don't have any blog posts, you'll, all of our content that we post will still go right here. So if you want to add an article, there's two ways to do it. The easiest way is to just go to your blog page and add articles. Click the plus button, and this is where you can type away and give great content for your prospects and clients. Okay, so if you want to make any changes, we have this elements tab. Not just text, but you could add your logo, paragraph, different images. If you want an image slider, you could just easily take it and then drag and drop to where you like it. And each of these has their own personalized settings. So you can go, you can edit the block, the block background, or simply go in and change the slides. To get rid of it, simply just go to the block settings and delete it. So there's two main differences between elements and blocks. So multiple elements can be in one block like this. This would be a block. So you have your social feed and your mortgage calculator. And as you can see, if you go into the blocks, right here we just have the footer. My blocks, there wasn't really anything in there. So if you make something that you like and you think you want to use it throughout your website, you can simply go to this block settings and then save as a block. And then just save. And it'll go into this block. After a little bit, and then you can drag and drop this anywhere you like. Great. So we're going to go back home, and I will go over a little bit more of the elements for you, because we have a lot of different functionality that we can do within this elements tab. So. If you have different types of articles, you're able to put those there. As we scroll down, we have different social media integrations. So your Instagram feed, iTunes, if you have podcasts, Typeform, Calendly, SoundCloud, Twitter, PayPal, Eventbrite, Facebook, and Discuss. So many different integrations that you could play along with and put into your site. Social sharing buttons, so if you have any type of content you want shared, you can just drag and drop this wherever you like. I'm going to put it back. Um, different navigation pages, breadcrumbs, different forms. So if you have your own particular landing page or lead capture you want to set up, you can just use one of our forms and simply put it in there and you'll be notified via email on the account. And then here are other ones. So we have our personal Universal IDX integration, um, different layouts, countdown. If you have custom code, you could put that in there. Maps for wherever, you could put that. Different searches. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can just plug and play into your website. And when you have time, feel free to just drag and drop, preview to see what's going on, how it works and whatever fits your brand and your liking. So here's the colors tab. You can add a different brand color, right? Or if you just change one of these blocks, one of these block backgrounds, and then change the color to your liking, either it's a hex code or just dragging it to the color that you like. And once you save it, it will automatically pop up here. So you can either add it here and change it along or once you have it here it'll save and you can do that color to every single block on your website. Effects is how certain things happen to blo blocks. So you can fade it in, fade it down, fade it scale, so there's many different things that you could do. All you do is take this, drag it onto the particular element that you would like, and then press preview and it will show you 
how it works on your website. Great. So now that we have all the basic editing covered, I'm going to show you the back end of the dashboard. So here we have many different things that you can do. Languages, if you do real estate in a different you know, country or you know, have a specific market that you like to target. Different templates that we have available for you. Site settings, so this can be um, if you want your site to be offline, you can name the title pages. It's just a little different specifications. And here's where you can also add your pixel, your Google Analytics, or any different header code that you need, um, whether it's for a chatbot, tracking, whatever, right? That is where you would put it. Um, we have our own logo maker. Um, but if you have your own brokerage, it's better just to use theirs. Um, you could play around with this. You could just drag and drop shapes, text, icons. It's very cool. Um, Semi-time consuming, but you have all the power to brand yourself within this website. So let's go with SEO. So here you can click the different pages and put in your page title, your meta descriptions, different images, and either if you want a follow or non-follow indexing. And you can do it to your home page, home evaluation, every single pages, secondary pages, even redirections if you ever have any. Great. So we can go to pages, and this is where you can add different pages to your nav, which would be main pages, have drop-down pages. So if you want to add it to the nav, you can do left or right. If you want it to be a sub page of your home evaluation page, then you do the plus button down. And once you click here, you can see if it's a blog post page that you want, an external page, your properties, another header page, blank page, or anchor. If you want to start from scratch, we suggest doing the blank page. So that's the easiest way to customize. Secondary pages are like listings. So this is where your single property sites are and where you can edit them. So secondary pages are sublinks and will not show on the nav. Great. So also we have fonts where you can change the fonts to reflect your brand. We have an integration with Google Fonts, so whatever is on there, you can upload it there, and it should reflect on your whole entire site. The domain is where you can connect your domain, multiple domains, however you like it. You can even purchase domains from in here. Once you click Connect Domain, you can buy a new one. We have a video how to migrate the domain on your own if you do not want to provide us with your login information for your domain. And then last but not least, integrations. So this is all the different integrations that we have with our site. Hello Bar is a pop-up. Zendesk Chat is just a chatbot on your site. Live Agent, Facebook Messenger. And what it really is, is just, it's an easy way to connect your apps. So instead of hiring a developer, getting the header code, going into the code ejection page and putting in the code, you can simply put your tracking ID here and it will connect. And that pretty much sums it up. So thank you for your time. If you have any more questions, please schedule a website walkthrough with one of our lovely reps and they can go into more detail about any of these features and services of your website. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.